So in 12.4, we're going to use distributive property to solve equations. So let's remember distributive property, right? 7 times 2x is 14x. 7 times 5, or positive 5, is plus 35. 9 times x is 9x times negative 3 is negative 20. Whoops, is negative 27, so this becomes 9x minus 27. Distributing a negative 2, negative 2 times 4x, negative 8x times a plus 7, minus 14. Negative 8x minus 14, negative 5 times x is negative 5x times negative 8, plus 40. Distributing a 1 half, 1 half times negative 8x, half of 8 is 4, so this is negative 4x. Half of 6 is 3, this is plus 3. So we're going to see parentheses. Now, there are other, there's at least one other method to get rid of parentheses, but your go-to method to get rid of parentheses from an equation is distributive property. 3 times 5x is 15x, 3 times 2 is 6, and you have a two-step equation. And once you have a two-step equation, you're doing those same two steps over and over again, and you solve your equation. So let's see that. We're going to simplify this equation using the distributive property. So 7 times x is 7x, 7 times negative 2, negative 14. That's a two-step. Once you have a two-step, you just go and finish it. 7x equals 21 plus 14 is 35. Divide both sides by 7. x equals 5. Here, distribute both sides. Just distribute the 2 and get 8x plus 18. Now you have a two-step. You subtract 18 from both sides. 2 minus 18, negative 16, right? The same as 2. Right? You can't actually do it here, right? 2 minus 18 is, right? 18 minus 2 is 16, but it's negative 16. And then that equals 8x. Divide both sides by 8. Negative 2 equals x. Distributing a negative 6. Negative 12x minus 30 equals 90. Add 30 to both sides. Negative 12x equals 120. Divide both sides by negative 12. x equals well, 12 divided by negative 12 is negative 1. This is negative 10. Distribute a negative 3. 21 equals negative 3x plus 15. Subtract 15 from both sides. 21 minus 15 is 6. 6 equals negative 3x. Divide by negative 3. Negative 2 equals x. Here you're distributing a negative 1. So it's negative 1x minus 14 is greater than 8. Add 14 to both sides. Negative 1x is greater than 22. Divide both sides by negative 1. X negative 22. What if I should I do? I just divided both sides by a negative number. I have to flip the symbol. This is multiplying by 0.2. So it's 0.2x. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 0.2 or 2 tenths is 1.6 equals 4.8. Let's subtract 1.6 from both sides. 0.2x <coughs> equals 3.2. Divide both sides by 0.2. So let's do that. 3.2 divided by 0.2. Move the decimal. It's 32 divided by 2 is the same thing. I'm getting x is 16. So we're distributing a 1 half here. 1 half times 2x, 2's cancel, you get x. 1 half of 10 is 5, half of negative 10 minus 5. Add 5 to both sides, x equals 34. Distribute a 2 fifths here, 2 fifths x, 2 fifths times 5, right? 2 fifths times 5 is 2, this is minus 2. Add 2 to both sides. 2 fifths x is less than or equal to 8. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 2 fifths, 5 halves. The 2 cancels with the 8. 
and x is less than or equal to 20. Tom bought a soccer game for his two daughters. The jerseys were $24 and the shorts $20, but the socks were an unknown price. If he spent $106 for both uniforms, write and solve an equation to determine the cost of each pair of socks. So it's two times, because he has two daughters, right? It has price of some socks plus some shorts plus some plus a jersey, right? So two of those, and the total added up to, we're using equation, 106. Now, I'm gonna, you could distribute a property first or combine like terms first, but let's do that. Let's combine our like terms and get 44. Now let's do distributive property, right? 2P plus 88 equals 106. Subtract 88 from both sides. 2P. 18 divided by 2. P equals $9. These socks, each pair of socks, cost $9. So let's practice. So 8 is less than or equal to 2x plus 10. Subtract 10 from both sides. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. So is less than or equal to 2x. Divide both sides by 2. By 2. By positive 2. Negative 1 is less than or equal to x. Distribute a 1 fifth. 1 fifth x. 1 fifth times 15 is 3. So this is minus 3. Oops, not 1 fifth x. Yeah, 1 fifth x. Sorry. Okay, I forgot the x. I knew that looked wrong. Okay, so now I'm not clearing this fraction because it's just a fraction coefficient. I'm adding 3 to both sides. 1 fifth x equals 7. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal, 5 x equals 35. Distribute a negative 2. Negative 2 times 4x, negative 8x, minus 12 equals negative 4. I should be less sloppy. Add 12 to both sides. Negative 8x equals positive 8. Divide both sides by negative 8. x equals negative 1. All right, so you're going to find all the errors. Now, when you do this, you will when you find an error, you don't fix it. You just keep going, and we'll see that in a second. All right, so what would you do first here? You distribute here, and you get negative 6x plus 20. So the first thing wrong is this plus 10. Okay, so now, assuming they did it right, let's find the next error. They should have subtracted 10 but from both sides, but they didn't subtract 10. They added 10, clearly. Okay, so the next thing they should have done is divide both sides by negative 6, even though it was already wrong. And that would be 6 and 2, 6. But the, oh, but it would be 6 and 2, 6, which is 6 and 1 third. But it should be negative. So it's negative 6. So the three errors, the 38 is wrong. It shouldn't be 38. It shouldn't be positive 6 and 1 third. It should be negative 6. It shouldn't be plus 10. Those are the three errors. Good luck on your homework.